Good evening, I'm Jasper with your quick update on the latest news here in the UK and around the world. Investigators say that the Tywin crash was due to a power cut to both engines. This was revealed by the black box data from the TransAsia Airlines turbo prop plane. Taiwan's Aviation Safety Council reported the engines blundered to achieve enough thrust for two minutes after takeoff. In the UK, a British jihadist has been given a 12 year custodial sentence after he fled to Syria and associated himself with a militant group who have links to so called Islamic State. Imran Khawaja from West London spent six months in Syria. Still in the UK, leading analysts say profound changes to the way the NHS in England is formed have been appalling and frenzied from patient care. The assessment by the King's Fund think tank say the coalition government's changes had wasted three years, failed patients, caused financial distress and left a strategic vacuum. In other news, budget retailer Poundland has said it wants to buy 99p stores for £55 million, subject to endorsement by competition authorities. The two firms have signed a conditional deal for £47.5 million in cash and £7.5 million in shares. Back in the UK, according to the consumer group WHICH, some UK students are subjected to unfair changes to courses. WHICH announced freedom of information requests to 141 UK universities for documents setting out the institution's right to vary courses after admission. And the Prime Minister David Cameron visited the Guru Nanak Gurdwara in Leamington Spa earlier today, where Fuldeep Singh, one of our presenters, spoke to the Prime Minister. Prime Minister, uh, thank you very much for joining us on uh, Sangha Television um, and we warmly welcome you here on behalf of the Sikh community to this uh, beautiful Gurdwara in uh, Leamington Spa. Um, under the Conservative government, um, We've had uh, free faith schools, um, and in Birmingham in particular, and in Wolverhampton, uh, we've had uh, successful schools which mm. have opened under the Conservative government, uh, namely Nishkan Primary School uh, in Wolverhampton, which your uh, colleague, the Right Honourable William Hague, opened. I mean, what's your plans um, sort of for education going forward? Well, I want to see more great free schools be established, and the plans are for more of them. Their numbers are accelerating, and I think they do give an opportunity to parents and teachers and community groups to come forward and set up great schools inside the state sector and I think faith schools can be good for our country and that you're right that we've seen Sikh free schools be established provide a great education which I think is reassuring to the Sikh community but there are also schools that are teaching British values that are teaching how we best uh, integrate as communities and build a great country together so if you get another conservative government and I hope you do after May the 7th more free schools more backing for faith schools and a belief uh, that British Sikhs play a very, very important part in our country's uh, future. I mean, we all believe that sustainability of these uh, free schools is very important. I mean, how do you uh, sort of see these, um, you know, sort of uh, sustainability of these well, free the schools? The sustainability of these schools is really going to be based on their success. And what's so remarkable about the free schools is I think you'll find over two thirds are either marked as good or outstanding schools. And remember, some of these schools have only been going for a year or two years. So their track record is good. The demand from parents is strong and so their sustainability is guaranteed by their success but I can give you the guarantee that a Conservative government will go on funding the start-up costs of these free schools because I want parents to have more choice in the state sector really good schools so we all know our children are getting a great education and just finally uh, Prime Minister just it's interfaith week this week um, just an important message for uh, as part of Interfaith Week. I mean, diversity is important, um, tolerance. Um, so just a message for our viewers. Well, my message is that we are a successful multi-faith country and that starts at the very top in Downing Street. I enjoy having Eid parties, Vasaki parties, Diwali parties, and of course parties to commemorate Easter as a Christian. We should be proud of the fact that we're building a country here where people of different faiths and different ethnicities uh, get on so well together and can integrate together to make a very strong and successful country and it's worth noting that you know we've got British Sikhs who in one or two generation have come to this country and are at the top of business or sometimes at the top of politics I want to see more of that I want to see them at the top of our military at the top of our judiciary but we do have a country where that is possible it's an opportunity country it's a meritocracy country and to me that's what Great Britain's all about Brilliant. Thank, you. Thank you, Full Deep, and that's all from me. So keep watching your favourite channel, the Sangat's channel, Sangat Television. Good night.